So let's dive in and let's talk about what is actually happening to our brains during the perimenopause and menopause, because the reality is it is mostly brain symptoms, I have to say, that my patients complain of. We think of the brain as kind of being a static structure, that it doesn't really change, but it does. You know, every part of our body is changing. Our brain is also changing subtly, not just through the menstrual cycle, but especially through perimenopause and postmenopause. Estrogen, it's it's a human hormone, you know, we need to stop thinking about it as a women's hormone. I'm, I know you talk about this all the time, but, you know, it's really important in terms of how it affects the brain and how our brain functions, especially as it relates to things like stress and memory as well. So ultimately the brain and the ovaries are communicating by sharing these hormones. So estrogen, progesterone, testosterone um, and they're you know ultimately influencing how the brain functions ultimately it leads to our brain having more of these neurotransmitters like serotonin dopamine glutamate oxytocin right and all of these neurotransmitters and neuromodulators are really important for changing how our brain functions it's really important for learning and memory and mood and how motivated we are and it helps us connect to the people around us so all of these things come together in terms of um, when estrogen drops, all these things are going to be influenced as well. 